Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 over 3 times x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start by multiplying both sides of this equation by 9. Left hand side we multiply by 9. Now this 9 is same as 3 times 3. So we can rewrite this expression as x plus 2 times x plus 3 times 3 times x plus 2 over 3 times 3 times x minus 1 over 3 is equal to this 2 times 9 will become 18. Next x plus 2 times x plus 3 we distribute this 3, 3 times x will become 3x. In the 3 times this 2 over 3 will become plus 2. And we distribute this 3, 3 times x will become 3x. In 3 times negative 1 over 3, negative 1 is equal to 18. Now we group these two terms x plus 2 and 3x plus 2. And we group these two terms x plus 3 and 3x minus 1. This will become x plus 2 times 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 18. We expand these two terms. So this uh, x times 3x will become 3x squared. x times 2 will become plus uh, 2x. 2 times 3x will become plus uh, 6x. And 2 times 2 will become plus uh, 4. We expand these two terms. This uh, x times 3x will become 3x squared and x times negative 1, negative x. And 3 times 3x will become plus uh, 9 times x and 3 times negative 1 will become negative 3 is equal to 80. Next, 3 times x squared. This is 2x plus 6x will become plus uh, 8 times x plus this 4 times this 3x squared. This negative x plus 9x will become plus 8x. And because here we have 4, so we can rewrite this negative 3 as plus 4 minus 7 is equal to 18. Now we suppose that 3x squared plus 8 times x plus 4 is equal to m. So this equation will become m times m minus 7 is equal to 18. Distribute this m, m times m will become m squared. m times negative 7 will become negative 7m. Move this 18 to the left hand side. This will become negative 18 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, m squared. We split this negative 7m as uh, negative 9 times m plus uh, 2 times m minus 18 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out m. In back left, uh, m minus 9. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 2. In back left, uh, m minus 9 is equal to 0. As you can see, this expression m minus 9 is a common factor. 
So we factor out this uh, m minus 9. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this m and this plus 2. In bracket left, uh, m plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. And uh, from here, either this expression m minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 9. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to negative 2. Now, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 is equal to n. We have supposed that 3x squared plus 8 times x plus 4 is equal to n. So when m is equal to 9, then this equation will become 3x squared plus 8 times x plus uh, 4 is equal to 9 and uh, we subtract uh, 4 from both sides. So this get cancelled and we are left with uh, 3 times uh, x squared plus uh, 8 times x is equal to 5. Move this 5 to the left hand side this will become 3x squared plus uh, 8 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 8 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write 8 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is negative 5 divided by 2 times a is 3. x x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this 8 squared is 64. Negative 4 times 3 times negative 5 will become plus 60 divided by 2 times 3 6. x x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this is 64 plus 60 will become 124 divided by 6 x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this 124 can be written as 4 times 31 divided by 6 and uh, x is equal to negative 8 plus minus uh, this will become root 4 times uh, root 31 divided by 6 x x is equal to negative 8 plus minus uh, this uh, root 4 will become 2 times uh, root 31 divided by 6 and uh, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 4 plus minus uh, root 31 divided by 6 this 2 1 time and 2 3 times 6 from here we get uh, two values of x, x1 is equal to negative 4 plus uh, root 31 over 3 and uh, x2 is equal to negative 4 minus root 31 over 3. Now we solve the second case when m is equal to negative 2 then this equation will become 3x squared plus h times x plus 4 is equal to negative 2. 
and we add 2 to both sides of this equation. So this get cancelled and this equation will become 3 times x squared plus 8x. 4 plus 2 will become plus 6 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable. We solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative b is 8 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 8 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is 6 divided by 2 times a is 3. Next x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this 8 squared is 64. The negative 4 times 3, negative 12, negative 12 times 6, negative 72 divided by 2 times 3, 6. Next, x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this is 64 minus 72 will become negative 8 divided by 6. And x is equal to negative 8 plus minus this square root of negative 8 can be written as root 4 times root negative 1 times root 2 divided by 6. x x is equal to negative 8 plus minus uh, root 4 will become 2 and root negative 1 will become i times uh, root 2 divided by 6 and x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 4 plus minus i times uh, root 2 divided by 6. Now 2 1 time and 2 3 times 6 and from here we get uh, other two values of x. x 3 is equal to negative 4 plus uh, i times uh, root 2 divided by 3 and uh, x 4 is equal to negative 4 minus i times uh, root 2 divided by 3. So, these are the four solutions of uh, this equation.